Okay, so in this short video, I'll uh, describe the discrete acceptance rejection algorithm. It's pretty much identical to the continuous case. Uh, the main point of this video is really just to illustrate it in a setting with perhaps a little bit simpler uh, math. So we want to simulate from a target distribution, uh, which is the Bernoulli distribution with probability of getting a one, which is 0 0.25. So we could we could draw its its probability mass function, which is the standard for the probability density function, like, like this. The probability of getting a zero is seventy five percent, and the probability of one is twenty five percent. Right? Then, as as the proposal, we'll use the Bernoulli with probability parameter zero point five. That means that it's the, 0.5% probability of getting a zero, and there's also a 50% chance of getting a one. And then we we quickly note that we have to have that f is less than or equal to to the envelope c times g of x, so c times uh, g of x, and that then for our case here implies that that c should be 1.5, right? So if we for, uh, if we fill in this this uh, matrix over here, well, the probability of getting a zero that we want is 70, 0 0.75. Probability of getting a one that was 0 0.25. From the proposal, we had 0 0.5 probability of getting a 0 and a 0 0.5 of getting a 1. For the envelope, that's c times g of x, we had uh, a c of 1.5 and a g of x, uh, which was 0 0.5, so we get 0 0.75 and again 0 0.75 for the outcome 0 and 1. Then we get to these conditional probabilities here. So for the, the first the first probability here, I'll just, just add a small star here. And I'll do it down here. So this is the probability of accepting conditional on x being 0. So you see that's probability of of u being less than equal to f of x over c times g of x and that's that's equal to the probability of u being less than equal to 0 0.75 over 0 0.75 and that's that's going to be a 1 so we'll put a one here. Now I won't do all the calculations, but you're free to fill these in yourself and I'll, I'll provide the answers. So here we get uh, one over three. Then we have over here the probability of X being zero and accepting. And the probability of, of X being zero, well, we know that here from the proposal is 0 0.5. The pro probability of accepting is one, so here is just 0 0.5 again, okay? the product of the two. Again, I will give all the answers, but if you want to calculate through it, then the correct answer over here is one over six. And we'll just we'll just quickly note that if we take here, then then the the probability of just accepting is going to be 1 over 2, that's the half, plus 1 over 6, which is going to be 2 over 3, 
which is then of course also the same as 1 over c. Right? We'll just note that. We could even give it a little extra star here. Okay. And then for for this last row, let's give it two three stars. So the probability of x conditional on us having accepted it, that's gonna be equal to, I'm just gonna drop some notation here. It's gonna be equal to the probability of accepting conditional on x times probability of getting x over probability of accepting and by the way, all of these rules fall from, follow from um, uh, basic probability theory. There's nothing fancy going on here. And this then becomes, well, see, probability of accepting conditional on x, that's 1. Probability of x taking the value 0, that's going to be 0 0.5. So it's 1 times 0 0.5 over probability of accepting, that was 2 divided by 3. This is going to be equal to 3 over 4, or 0 0.75. So let's just call it 0 0.75. And over here we'll have 0 0.25, right? And then, very importantly, we'll just note that that this row here is the same as f of x. So the probability of x taking a particular value condition on us having accepted it is exactly the target distribution. And that was, that was then us being able to simulate from, from the target distribution using a proposal distribution.